Uh, my name is Morgan Clementson. I am a qualified baker, a bakery manager here at Bain Organic Bakery in Sydney. I have uh, recently been going through the National Training Awards where I won New South Wales Apprentice of the Year. Uh, then I went through and went, got runner-up for Australian Apprentice of the Year. Uh, with all the prize money, I've recently just travelled to Europe and I've come back. And um, I am looking forward to moving to Belgium in January. So when I was 15, um, I came from an alcoholic family. It was declared unsafe for me to live at home. I then proceeded to sort of sleep in primary schools and wherever I could. I left home with my backpack, that's all I had. Um, I put myself through school. Um, I worked two jobs and I was with uh, a youth accommodation service when I was younger. And I was looking to move out to Campbelltown because I, um, I was working out that way. And I seen the advertisements for the, um, for the affordable housing for low income earners. I liked the idea you still had to work and you still had to earn a certain amount, but it was a five year lease and it was the first time in my whole entire life where I could put my feet down for five years. <laughs> Every, I've moved 31 times, I think. It was the first time it was my house, it was my rules, it was my responsibility. So I was able to set a solid foundation um, in regards to having the furniture that I wanted, having valuables in the house, which was another big thing. And it's a quite, it was really safe there because I had quite a lot of security in, in the unit. Um, and also bonded lots of friendships there as well. That was really nice because I was actually going to be there. And in that time, there was people there that were there for the five years as well. And we sort of grew together. Because they would, people would come home and they'd be like, oh, the bread fairy's been today. And I would bake, and that's a lot of reason why I started. I would bake bread, like on the weekends, I'd have a bake off in my house. And because I've trained and exercised so much, I couldn't eat it. So I'd go and deliver it around to all my neighbors. Coming home by yourself, it was nice sometimes to knock on your neighbor's door and she'd cook your chicken soup or, you know, so that was a really nice part of it all. The educational bursary I, um, I seen in the newsletter, I then went forth and applied. I found out how to go about applying and uh, after applying I sat anxiously and I waited to find out whether or not I got it the first year. Um, it was really helpful, obviously it paid for my TAFE equipment um, and my TAFE course. I then went on to get it the second year, which I continued studying. And on the third year as well, I also completed a certificate four in small business management with, with that particular bursary. And on the last year, I got to stand up on stage and tell my story, which was really good. Basically, the support was always there. Uh, definitely, I always had a point of contact role, was definitely a point of contact. Uh, that was a lot through the uh, bursary, education bursary, which actually funded my TAFE while I was going to TAFE. Uh, I applied for that. I think I was the only one to win it three years in a row consecutively. <laughs> um, but I did put a lot of effort in. I made sure that I got 100% in my exams and made sure that I was top of my class to enable me to get that scholarship. And by getting that scholarship, then I had the pressure of having to get 100% on top of my class. So it kind of worked both ways, that one actually, yeah. I could not speak higher of what community housing has done for me and what, it can, what it's actually done for others. Uh, a lot of people don't know about it because they don't like to ask for help. Uh, they think I can do it on my own, I can do it on my own, you know, I've, I've got this, it's fine. But then they end up struggling and they're, you know, they're missing out on um, important opportunities like being able to do an apprenticeship or being able to go and get the job they want to do. Um, I just think that community housing really gives it, because you've also got the support, it's not just the house, it's not just your rent, you've also got the, the people there that actually care about you, care about where you're going, actually want to, every time I had a small win or I won an award, I'd ring up and go, oh, guess what I've won, so, and that would be really good, and they also put me in the newsletter and they gave you, gave you a bit more self-confidence behind um, what I was doing and also used that to inspire other people within the organisation to be able to improve their lives and make a better future for themselves.